Boy, if you're unfortunate enough to read CNN's news, then you'll know that a courageous Colorado sheriff is promising to not enforce the state's proposed red flag gun confiscation bill. Hi folks, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. And yes, this Colorado bill proposed by Democrats and likely to pass the Democrat controlled House and Senate in the state is called HB 19-1177. And it is yet another insulting anti-rights red flag bill, allowing the state to issue what the politicians call extreme risk protection orders or ERPOs to search the belongings of and see the firearms of folks that they deem mentally unsuitable to possess guns. And of course, by using their powerful sounding terms, the politicians can, without trial, without conviction, portray someone as an extreme risk. In fact, over half of the 64 Colorado County sheriffs and or commissioners have vowed not to enforce the bill should it become law. They are, as Leslie Hollywood notes for rallyforourrights.com creating what are called Second Amendment Sanctuary Counties where no county funds will be used to process ERPOs or store confiscated firearms. Now Sheriff Reeves notes that the Colorado bill would violate the Second, Fourth, Fifth, Sixth, Eighth, and Fourteenth Amendments to the U.S. Constitution, meaning that it attacks the Fourth Amendment requirement that police get warrants from judges citing the persons to be searched and the items sought upon the judge's determination of probable cause, that it breaches the Fifth Amendment prohibition against the taking of property without just compensation and the taking of liberty without due process, that it breaches the Sixth Amendment assurance that a person can get a speedy trial and confront his accuser before a jury of his peers, it breaches the Eighth Amendment prohibition against against cruel and unusual punishment, and it breaches the Privileges and Immunities Clause of the 14th Amendment. And not only would the law not stop criminally-minded people from getting firearms, CNN's reporters did bother to note that Reams warned that it could do even more. Quote, Reams said he also worries about the potential to aggravate an already volatile person by taking their weapons. Going in and taking their guns and leaving the scene, I can't see how that makes them less of a risk. It just takes one tool away, said Reams, arguing that a person bent on hurting someone could do it with a knife or a car. And there's more. They note that in 2018, a man near Baltimore was killed after officers showed up to seize his firearms based on a court order, and he became irate, police said. Well, of course, we know that they're going to get firearms if they are intent on committing the crimes. You can't stop demand. The black market will supply them. And we know that this could actually inspire all sorts of other problems, even as it steps on people's rights. So hats off to Sheriff Reams and others for understanding that rights are supposed to be hands off by government until someone, as in common law tradition, has been shown through a real trial to have committed a crime against the life or property of another person. The people pushing these red flag laws are trying to put our rights in the slippery hands of a psychiatry slash political machine. It's a tag team that might not really grasp the concept that rights aren't supposed to be touched by the politicians. But thank goodness, People like Sheriff Reams and others in Colorado on the local level understand it. We wanted to make sure you were aware of it as well. So please spread the word about what those folks are doing and spread the word about our videos. We really appreciate it. Don't forget if you're watching on YouTube to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for taking the opportunity to watch what we're producing here at MRC TV. I know everyone works very hard and I know that your time is valuable. Thanks again. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.